Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches, so your discretion is advised. We kill shit here. What's up, guys? We are back at the ranch. Just checking, see where my cables are. There's not one here. Oh, look what we got here, boys. Look what we got here. We got a recce and a snare. And he's a big sucker. Look at the size of that raccoon. He tore that up. Probably won't remake that one. He was probably coming or going. He's... Look at the size of that sucker. He's a big raccoon. Jesus. Let me get some pictures here. I'm going to show you another one. I got another one on the other side here. Hang on one second. We set up on this big trail. We got two, two snares. I put in this big old 220 here yesterday, but they didn't make it that far, it looks like. Look at this rat can. That is a giant rat can. Get him taken care of. He's still alive. And then we'll get the other one taken care of and we'll move on, guys. I'll show you some skinning later on. Stay tuned. All right, we'll get this guy taken care of. It's a pretty good size raccoon. Now, a lot of guys ask me what I use. I just use a Smith & Wesson 22. Sometimes we use a pellet gun. And you just go right between the eyes. Basically, not much blood, as you can see. You held him still. You don't have any blood. He's not covered in blood, so. We'll get him. Look at that. It's a big raccoon. Jesus. Get the snare off him. Probably should use two hands here. It's a big old raccoon. We won't reset the snare. We want to catch coyotes in the snares, but look, just a little drop of blood there. That is a big old raccoon right there. Look at that guy. So it's a stud raccoon. This other one is even bigger, I think. Get him taken care of. <clears throat> If you don't have a gun, well, guys, we got two pretty nice raccoons. Real nice raccoons. Um, we weren't really planning for the snares action, but we got them anyways. So I'll get them back home and I'll show you how I skin them. Pretty good size raccoons. This one here is really good size. It's a big coon there. Rat can. So I'll get him in the truck and then we're gonna head head on uh, north. Next thing you're gonna see is me in the first shed. We'll get him skinned and I'll show you how I do it. So all right, let's move on. Uh you don't have to skin them right away. If it's cold enough, like it's cold here. I caught these yesterday and I'm skinning today. You see, now the fur's not coming out. When it's cold, if you figure a fur buyer is buying, when he buys the fur, a lot of times it's sat around for, especially the ones that drive around, meet you in a parking lot. With raccoons, I really like to use gloves because you'll be messing around the mouth area and stuff. I got so many cracks in my hands and stuff, there's no need to risk anything. So usually I just, I'll just wear gloves. I mean, the blood soaks into my dried up hands and then it's hard to clean and so on and so forth. But, so I just use any knife. I got all kinds of knives. I'm just using this 
fillet knife right now. I got that. I got those knives. But I've been using fillet knives for years. And they're just so easy to resharpen. All right. There's his old giblets. We're just gonna make the, what they call the money cut right across here. Let's see, find my opening. I used, to, I used to take a lot of, a lot of my coons skinned and they always told me I did, they looked so good. They were pretty impressed with my stuff because I would take the time and wash out the blood and then I brush them before I sell them. I've seen at the fur bars, I've seen a lot of people come in there with frozen rock hard coons and they just throw them down and they sound like a block of ice. That's not very appealing. Most of these big boars are gonna have rough tails. I mean, they're 50-50 on actually getting the tail stripped or not. All right, and I don't know, I probably won't see one on this coon, we'll see, we'll find out here, but the reason I don't eat raccoon, personally, is because of all the worms I find. Yeah, that thing ain't very really sharp. And it's usually when I go around the legs here, I'll find the worms that get really long, you know? And that's kind of a turn off if you're a raccoon eater. Oh, you must not be finding the same stuff I'm finding. This is just the system I put together. My brother made this. And top and the base and then I just threw a winch up in the attic up there We kind of made it for coyotes the shed Because you got to have a lot of space if you're gonna use a winch Little piece of skin right here. Oh, I forgot to cut the. Usually I cut the legs off, but I forgot this one. All right. If you cut off the feet, it's a little easier at this point. But it's no big deal. There we go. Take your knife. See if you cut them off, it would be done already. There you go. There's the ear. Go across here. There is the other ear. See the ear cartilage? Across the front, under the jaw. I'm gonna get some tension on it. We're gonna come in here and look for the eyeballs. Hopefully you guys can see this. Right there's one. There's the other. You just keep going like this where you know the eyeball is and you'll eventually come through it. Not the eyeball, but the lens, the eye, eyelids basically. See, I got, even the eyelashes are there. I got the whole kit and caboodle there. And if you mess up the eyes, it's okay. It doesn't, the face doesn't matter. 
and then cut the nose. Ching! It, if I wouldn't have struggled with the tail, because look how you can see that this tail has been bit, and, and it's, I'll bring it down. This tail ain't straight. It's got a big old knot here. Yeah, but you just gotta work with it. Take your time when you get a bad tail. Usually the males have been fighting. He's been bit, he's got, he's got scar tissue and all kinds of stuff in his tail. Didn't come off as easy as they should have, but we didn't panic. And we got a skin pelt here. I get her turned inside out. See the eyes, perfect. And on this side, you can see the eyes, no holes. It's a pretty big coon. We'll hang him right there, show you guys. But uh, I hope this teaches somebody, like I say, you can just pull this down, put your muscle into it, uh, wear uh, jersey gloves so the fat doesn't, you're not sliding with, if you put on gloves, you'll get a grip when you're pulling down by hand. That's pretty much it. That's a. We got a skinned raccoon there. So. All right, guys. Thanks for allowing me to show you guys a skinning video. Um, the more you do, the faster you get. So, all right, stay tuned for the next video. I'll have skinning in that one also. He's right over here on the ground. I'm gonna skin him right now for the next video. I'm kind of, uh, I got more video footage. I'm ahead a little bit, so see you on the next video, guys. Chill.